Hey guys, got another review for you today. Haven't done one in a little while, I guess. Uh, it's just because I've been sort of busy with all kinds of stuff. Things have been going on and, you know, just been kind of away from YouTube if, for the most part. Videos, at least. Um, also, haven't really been able to access the uploading PC, so that's another reason. But I have gotten some other things besides, uh, obviously, what is in this video so far. Uh, I've done intros to the things. I've already since opened everything to those intros, and I'll have those uploaded as soon as possible within the next week. Uh, but this one will be posted first. And it is the Evolutions Jedi Legacy pack. The Legacy version, of course. They already did this one once, I think. <clears throat> and I really don't understand this pack because... I can understand that because uh, out of all the movies, he is basically the oldest and first Jedi you come across. And I can understand him, although that attire is very unbecoming of Luke Skywalker, the Jedi Knight we know. Um, but, besides that, the Jedi rags, uh, I, can, I can very, very easily understand why he's in this pack. But the one I don't understand is this one right here. It's just like, why are you putting a figure of a... Jedi that is only in the second movie one time in one little scene. So yeah, they really should have put... Instead of wasting a space for this character, they really should have, like they did with Qui-Gon here, they should have updated Obi-Wan from Episode 1. I don't think we've had a super articulated Obi-Wan from Episode 1 ever. And that would have been not awesome to have one finally. But, whatever. We get left with this. But, overall I guess it's a small complaint. But she, she really should have been released solo. Not in a pack with, you know, Jedi that deserved to be in a pack. I guess. Sorry to the actress that played her. But, you know, whatever. Anyways, the packaging is nice, blah blah blah, I'd give it a, easily a 9, it's just, it looks really good. Okay, so, here they are out of the package, uh, these are all new sculpts, um, well maybe Luke's face isn't a, re uh, a new sculpt, it's probably a re-sculpt of something, but uh, they're all new figures, and the pick out of all these new figures is Qui-Gon because he is the very first uh, I guess you, you could say super articulated Qui-Gon and he'll be the one that I'm going to be going over articulation because he has the same exact articulation that the other two figures do um, anyways he comes with this very cool uh, Jedi robe. Uh, it's not exactly dark enough to be used on Anakin. Uh, it's one of the it's one of the lighter Jedi robes. Uh, but I do have the Mace Windu, and that one goes pretty well with with uh, Anakin. The only problem with these robes is there's no uh, wiring uh, laced in the front of the hood, so you can get a pose out of it, which kind of sucks because. The material is, you know, it just doesn't work very well. But, I'm going to take it off and show you the articulation. Okay, so, he's pretty much, he's as articulated as an Evolutions figure. He's got a very good ball jointed torso. Uh, his head's okay. It just you can really only turn and look a little bit up and a little bit down. Not too much movement as far as that goes. Uh, 
the robe, or not the robe, the, uh, the, the chest, the chest piece here is really s like a solid plastic material, material, so moving his arms too much in like an upward position, trying to force that arm a little bit inward more will break it, so be careful with that. Uh, I haven't done it, but I, I can easily see people doing that. His lightsaber is huge for some reason. Like it looks like a, it looks like he's wielding like a, a toy lightsaber. Uh, you know those big oversized ones that you get at the store. Anyways, he has the basic standard articulation. I mean, I'm pretty sure you all know the articulation they have: ball jointed, ball jointed el uh, elbows. Uh, swivel hands, ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed head, ball jointed torso for some figures. Um, I can't seem to keep this guy on camera. Swivel hips, although some figures are starting to feature ball jointed hips now, but he only has swivel. Uh, ball jointed uh, knees and ball jointed feet. It's just standard articulation for Star Wars figures for the most part. Even though Hasbro seems to be going back to the days of uh, one simple uh, swivel cut in most places, which is kind of disturbing. It's like we're going backwards in some areas. Anyways, it looks a lot like Liam Neeson. So there's Qui-Gon. Now, I don't really like this. Luke Skywalker figure. I, I don't, really don't like it. I mean, the face looks weird, and the suit just... He looks like a... a bum. Like a Jedi bum. I don't... I don't know why they didn't put him in black. But he's got the same articulation as Qui-Gon, pretty much. Uh, he's probably gonna fall. And here's the figure I was complaining about in the beginning of the, the video because I didn't understand why she was in this pack. I still don't understand why she's in this pack. Um, the choices, as far as figure choices for all the uh, Evolutions pack, Evolutions packs from the, this uh, Legacy line and the last line, which they're all the same, uh, this is the only one I've really questioned the, the two figures, uh, two of the figures in the pack why they are the way they are and why why this one's even in there uh, we could have really used another updated figure how they updated Qui-Gon we could have used the updated episode one uh, Obi-Wan but whatever despite all that she's still pretty cool and I would if she was sold separately I would definitely recommend you pick her up but I would not buy the pack for her. Buy it for Qui Gon, and you basically get the other two figures. So, that being said, these things, these packs, are twenty dollars. A little expensive. Um, so they're not for everybody. Twenty dollars is a lot of money. You know, for three little Star Wars figures. But. I would say it's a, the pack is about an 8.5. If it weren't for Luke Skywalker looking completely absurd, just he doesn't even really look like that much of a Jedi except the fact that he's got a lightsaber um, and the inclusion of a character that I don't I don't understand why is in a Jedi legacy pack. Uh, if it weren't for those things, it'd easily be a nine. But as it is, I think I like the Sith Legacy Pack better. And I do have that one, I just haven't been able to upload the video. Uh, I haven't even really been able to finish the video, so that will be the next one I do. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been a little bit of a weird video. I had to do a lot of edits. So I'll see you guys later.